Tonight's presentation will continue after this brief commercial message. And ladies and gentlemen, have we got a deal going on right now. Just like our jingle, we do sell cars like eggs out here at Jeff Weiler Chevrolet in the beautiful countryside in Batavia, Ohio. But tonight, something different. Because I'm here to tell you about my father, Jeff Weiler, the man, the dealer, the legend. Hello, I'm Jeff Weiler. 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 And Dad sure did a lot of TV spots, which certainly helped him sell lots of cars and make him a household name and more than just our household. But that comes a little bit later in our story. So let's start at the beginning. Dad was born in Cincinnati at Deaconess Hospital on April 1st, 1941. World War II caused a lot of disruption in his early life, and during the war years, he lived with his great aunt Nettie and uncle Gus Mueller. After the war, he moved to Green Hills with his mother, stepfather, Bob Harris. Due to Mr. Harris's job as a district sales manager for Chevrolet, his early life became a continuing moving adventure. Near planes or far, there's a Chevrolet dealer for your Chevrolet car. So make a date today, today the USA. For the next 12 years, the family moved in Ohio to Green Hills, Bell Fountain, and Urbana, then off to Phoenix, Arizona, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and finally El Paso, Texas, where he actually was able to attend the same school until graduation. Young Jeffrey Weiler at that point was by necessity able to meet people easily and make quick friends, and he was determined somehow to combine that charm with a college degree to make an impact on the world. After a brief stint in the Army Reserves, Dad came back to Cincinnati to begin his business career and to start college. His college career had few starts and stops as he was constantly running out of money. He was able to afford exactly one quarter at Ohio State University before he moved back with his mother and stepfather in Colorado to take a try at Northeastern Junior College. That lasted three quarters. He moved back to Cincinnati and enrolled into the University of Cincinnati. And to save money, he lived at the L.B. Harrison Club so he could afford tuition and living expenses. He worked at anything he could fit into his schedule around morning classes, life insurance investigations, an accounts receivable clerk for a trucking company, relief desk clerk at the Fountain Square Hotel. He even sold tickets to sporting and one-night events around town and was a night auditor from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. one night a week, after which he'd take a bus directly to his 8 a.m. economics class. Not exactly a formula for an A in that class, but he passed and eventually graduated with a finance degree in 1965. Instead of taking a job with Smith Barney on Wall Street, he took a job with Chevrolet because they'd pay him $25 more a month. He was off and running the same track as his stepfather. He was able to stay in Cincinnati and sell event tickets to supplement his income. It was a busy time with regular promotions from sales trainee to the zone office to district manager that took him to many dealerships throughout the tri-state region. Another promotion in a little over a year led to the decision to move out on his own, and he took over as general manager for a dealership that he had never worked with before. That proved very soon to be a bad decision. Or as my dad put it, the man only lied when his lips moved. At that point, fate stepped in, and a dealership in Batavia, Ohio became available. Carl Norris and an old boss from Chevrolet provided some financial help. And at the age of 32, Jeff Weiler opened his Chevrolet dealership on November 1st, 1973. And this is Rick Kincaid. Rick supervises our new car conditioning department. And when you pick up your new car truck, it's his responsibility to be sure it's right. Uh, I started with Jeffrey 37 years ago when we had a one car showroom, 20 car lot. The night he took over, him and I swept the lot together, made ready for the new cars. Yeah, and I started for him 33 years ago. Uh, he just moved up on top of the hill up here, and uh, he had about 25, 30 employees when he hired me. And uh, it was uh, just something about Jeff that uh, I just was won over for the first time I talked to him. With a newly painted building, six service bays, 20 parking spaces, and a large inventory of cars that got nine miles to the gallon, he was in perfect position for the air oil crisis that hit the United States causing long lines in gas stations 
and unprecedented almost stratospheric fuel prices, it took four days for the first customer just to even show up. Well, somebody up there really liked Jeff Weiler because in January, a former neighbor, Lou Rainoni, who just happened to be the production manager at WLWT, stopped by looking for a new car and happened to ask the question, why aren't you advertising on TV? You see, Dad couldn't advertise in the Cincinnati newspaper because he wasn't in Hamilton County. Radio, TV, no problem. As they say, history was made. Cars like eggs. Yeah, but station wagons like eggs. Eggs like egg. eggs. 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 Like eggs. Are cheaper in the country. In the country at Jeff Weiner Chevrolet. Within a month, even a guy who'd slept through much of his economics class could tell that his sales were climbing. Growth followed the sales increases, and he bought out his original backers in short order and added dealerships. Eventually, consolidating them all into an innovative auto mall concept, one of the first in the 1980s and quite ahead of the curve of the auto industry. By de-emphasizing the brand, Dad created a new way of selling that placed the importance of the dealership and shopping convenience. And Dad was proud to say that he had finally had a job he couldn't be fired from and no one to make him show up for work. Ah, the good life at last. Even in the most recent recession, while others of us spoke of how we might be depressed or what are we going to do, Jeff is looking for new opportunities and new things that he can do in his business. Today, the Jeff Weiler Automotive family operates dealerships in Cincinnati and Springfield, Ohio, and Frankfurt and Louisville and Northern Kentucky. As one of the top 50 dealership groups in the entire country, employing nearly 1,000 people and retailing over 20,000 new and used vehicles annually. Dad's always believed in giving back and being involved in the communities that he lives and he works in. The list of community and charitable events he has participated in is a long one, but one of the most satisfying roles was serving at the University of Cincinnati Board of Trustees and as the chairman from 2006 to 2009. Jeff was a great investment for the University of Cincinnati. But no, Jeff long ago uh, uh, made it clear that he loved the University of Cincinnati. He has been a person that we can count on to do whatever is needed to be done whenever we need it. Jeff uh, is a very interesting, conscientious, and loyal person uh, to his family, his friends, and very much uh, to the Cincinnati, uh, greater Cincinnati, even larger than that community. Jeff Weiler, my dad, made it on his own and he did it his way. From the entire family, wife Linda, Julie, James, Jessica, and myself, as well as the six grandchildren, we just wanted to say how proud we are of you and welcome to the Business Hall of Fame. <laughs>